completely winter here during the evenings in Guwahati. And now we feel like having something that's spicy and something that really soothes your throat there. And one particular thing that is really good for winters and if you have some a very cold and runny nose might be is pepper chicken. So I'd like to make it before you and try out spicy pepper chicken. So the ingredients that I'll need are very simple and very minimal. So what are they? They are here I have taken around 200 grams of chicken there. All irregular pieces cut into small sizes like this. Irregular pieces there. I'll, what I've done is that I've taken around, around three big onions and I've just sliced them roughly and I have just fried them in mustard oil till they have the glistening on the top. This is when I'll take them out. I'm not going to really make them completely uh, dry and completely brown. So this is the way you need them. Three big onions and around 10 or 12 cashew nuts which I've soaked in water for the last half an hour. I'm going to grind and make a paste of it. I'll of course need some salt and the other ingredients. This is around one big tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. Separately, I will need another garlic say around 10 pots of garlic because I want to make it really spicy and garlicky and peppery and I will need two bay leaves, a pinch of garam masala because I've made it at home so I just use a pinch of it otherwise it will be one small teaspoon of garam masala. I will also need a few other ingredients here, one big tablespoon of this is coriander seeds, one big tablespoon of cumin seeds and uh, one and a half teaspoon of pepper. Now you may increase the pepper because it's peppery chicken, it's, you can always increase it but I'll also use some powdered pepper. This is another small teaspoon of powdered pepper. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to give this all of these a dry roast in a pan and I'm going to marinate the chicken with it. So I'm dry roast, roasting my uh, these cumin, coriander and pepper corns there but I'll not burn them. I just dry roast till the aroma really escapes the you know the karai and I have this feeling of beautiful fragrance in the air. So I'm just going to fry it dry roasted in a way okay so still needed to be done more a little more and then I just grind them coarsely. So let me dry roast them for some time, say one or two minutes. Once they begin to splutter, can you hear that? Yes, they are done. They are running away from, if they start running away from your pan, that is, they are done. And you can see that fume there that's coming up. And this is ready to be going to the mixy for a coarse grind. The next thing I'm going to do, just throw in amount of salt that is necessary there for the chicken. Okay, and then add this is vinegar, say around uh, one small teaspoon, uh, one small tablespoon of vinegar, and this is the amount that is gone in into the mixy. And this is the you know type I have here. I do not like it very coarse, so I just made little uh, you know. Finer, I'm throwing it into the chicken there and we'll give it a nice mix with our hands there and this doesn't have to marinate it's okay done so this is done the next thing that I'm going to do is that while it can be resting for 5-10 minutes no problem but you can always do it directly also so this is done the next thing I do is that give this a fine mix and next I give this a fine mix and I put on the uh, karai so that I can start frying. In the same oil in which I have fried the onions, I'm just going to place the pieces of chicken and give them a slight fry on both the sides so that you know all the juices are intact. This is how I do that just a little so that they are browned a little. So after frying on one side for around one or two minutes, I just give them a turn like this. So it's just minimal that I'm doing. So this is like I'm going to just try and preserve the moisture inside. Uh, so this is how I'm doing it. So this I'm doing on high heat, remember. It should be done on full flame. So this way I'll repeat for the entire 
lot of chicken pieces there. So all my chicken pieces are fried up. I've made a paste of the fried onion. And this is the cashew nut paste that I have. Now in the remaining oil, I'm going to continue my cooking. Now I'm going to add in first of all the bay leaves. The bay leaf goes in there, one and the second one. And of course the onion piece. All of the onion paste goes in. And I'm going to give it a nice fry now again in the same oil. So after some time I'm putting in the ginger garlic paste there. Around this time I also put in the small pinch of garam masala. And then give it a nice fry again. This is already fried up and this is already cooked. So around this time I'm going to put in the pieces of chicken which I had fried. Drop in the pieces of chicken and let me just coat them with the masala. And give it a nice fry. I have the entire thing being done in a high flame there. So just give it a nice mix there and let it cook up and you know just coat all of them very very well there so now i can just reduce the heat a bit and let it cook on open flame there and uncovered as you can see the oil is beginning to separate and this is the perfect time to throw in the pepper powder this is after all a peppery chicken there you may reduce the amount of pepper if you do not like it very hot but this is good for running noses and a sore throat so this way i'm just going to heat up and really cook up properly and mix it up while my water is boiling up that will go into this to make a little gravy out of it so i'm not wait for long just drop in some water hot boiling water so there goes in some water if you have noticed, I haven't introduced any uh, turmeric powder. We don't use turmeric powder in this particular recipe. Just for a change. So, just give it a nice mix there. And on medium flame, I think I'll just give in some more might be. This is very good to have with parantas. And let it just boil up. With the first boil, I'll just cover and cook till it's done on medium flame. So I have the first boil here. I just however drop in a little bit of salt here because uh, just a little because I have already added a lot of water there. So I'll just give it a nice, nice mix and then of course cover and cook till it's done on medium flame. So now we'll wait for it to cook up. Now this has been cooking on for almost 10-12 minutes and I have almost the desired consistency. Let me just increase the heat a bit and then throw in the cashew paste. Now this is completely optional. If you want to avoid, you may avoid it. But I just want to make it a little more richer because it's after all pepper chicken and you really want to have that sublime feeling of having something very very exotic. So now I've increased the heat now and let me just boil it up till it's a little drier. If you want to have it with some steamed rice or some fried rice, you can always keep it at this stage. But I just want to have it with some paranthas or some fulkas and so I am just drying it up. Check in for the salt at this particular time and drop in the salt if you want it. So this is the desired consistency. I just want a little more heat there. So I am putting it a green chili. You may increase the pepper but I thought too much of pepper might really make you a little problematic later so I thought I should put in the green chili which is spicier so and this is done in a way I'm just shutting it down now I've heated a small pan there I'm just throwing in one small teaspoon of mustard oil just letting the mustard oil heat up and smoke up Now I'm going to throw in the onion. Oh, sorry, the garlic. I'll not burn up the garlic. Switch it off and let it be there till I really use it as a garnish. So now let's dish it out. 
this is that beautiful gravy that we have exotic and beautiful and really tasty there so there goes my pepper spicy pepper chicken very good for the winters and something that will warm you up I hope you like this recipe you'll surely surely try it out and you'll give it a like and a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't thank you so much for all the support and thank you so much for watching